Are you guys smoking weed on set? Well, I mean, I'm, I, I might roll in a minute. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it looks like someone was rolling a J. Probably. Probably. <laughs> well, hello. Welcome. Welcome. How's it going? How has your day been? Hello. My day? My day's going great. This is my last interview of the day. I've had five. And, oh, wow. Um, I've... Uh, this is great. It's, you know, I, I work uh, five hours a day, which is not bad. Although I am seventy-four, I should be fishing uh, yeah. all my fucking time. Taking it less. easy. Here we go. <laughs> nice, nice. So, do you fish a lot? What's that? Do you fish a lot? No, I don't. That should be. Do you understand? I, I love fishing. <laughs> fished uh, for any length of time for fuck me 25 years i think it's about time don't you yeah no would anyone like to ask hey. a question um, yeah, well, well I before mean... you do that i mean i think i think all of us are kind of stoned here you're are not, we you're not recording <laughs> yeah do you want to record <laughs> oh, or are you recording some other way um, let me hit record. Yeah, sure. I, mean, I don't mind. Thank you. We don't, we don't have to record this motherfucker. I'm easy. Um, I need permission to record that. Okay. All righty. Hold on. Bear from with me. who? From uh, it's Zoom. Um, you should have joined our Yetsi because it's so much freer. <laughs> I should have done what? We have our own private video servers and voice servers and stuff that we host ourselves. You know, I can't, I can't better. use them. I can't use them. I can't use them if I have to go to a website. Even though I'm in hiding, you, you young yeah. motherfuckers. I mean, you can do <laughs> shit I can't do. Like, I cannot go on a website, all right? I okay. wish I could. Uh, so I cannot, I cannot, I cannot uh, assist you there. See, I told you, you motherfuckers are smoking weed, and I'm not. You're not? Why not? What happened? Because I'm inside a room where I can't fucking smoke anything, not even a cigarette. Right? Oh, really? So, okay. mm -hmm. Snap. Wow. Good evening. You, you look like a bunch of seriously, seriously ragged dudes i mean like it's like almost anything can happen tonight looks like which is <laughs> <laughs> well that's usually how it goes as yeah well. that's how we like that's how it goes yeah um yeah i reckon yes, okay so buggy you're in charge of keeping the peace and asking the stuff Okay, cool. Otherwise, well, it's going to be dead air and stuff, and you're, you're the uh, most prepared for this, I reckon. Okay, I've cool. got I've got a burning. Before we start, the the ladies and gentlemen, um, yep. the tree in the background. <laughs> what kind of tree is it, or where is that thing supposed to be? I'm I'm seriously curious. Um, it I got it from Google. I searched dark back images. Because um, it's, <laughs> it's load shedding where I am, so the power's out, and it's probably only going to come on much later. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, that's, was that's, also... that's about that's a that's about as enlightening as fake cocaine. I mean, it didn't tell me shit about the tree. Um, in any case, if anybody knows, let me know. If not, let's move on. <laughs> so, uh, John, have you seen uh, the dickening.com? The what? Dickening.com. No, I'm sorry, I have not. Uh, I, so, I don't get out um, much. Yeah, you I should have a look at the you, website. You should have a look at dickening.com. It's about your um, um, offer about Bitcoin. Ah, okay. uh, the BD, BDC prize. Yeah, they're doing like a countdown. <laughs> oh, are they though? You well, know? Yeah, well, yeah. Listen, I'm going to be what honest with you, motherfuckers. You? Right? I I always keep my word. However, I'm also also a businessman. 
And I know that contractually, <laughs> in any sort of situation where something is owed, you may contract that out to other people. Uh, and I already have a team of Bangkok prostitutes who are from, um, what is the word? Uh, <laughs> they're very well versed in the art of oral um, oh. manipulation. And so I'm going to have them eat it for me, but slowly. Uh, for you know, like you <laughs> suck an ice cream cone, and the ice cream cone eventually disappears. It's one of those things. Um, so over the next, I don't know, four, five, ten years, they will do one of these tag team things um, in the effort to fulfill uh, my bet. Fair play. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, take a look. Have, have, have you, you become... guys are so fucking stoned. I mean, look at you. I mean, do you realize, <laughs> which is fine with me, by the way, we, we've got no structure. We've got no fucking... Um, we've got no subject. On it. Who, who has the J, you know? Or somebody rolls another <laughs> spliff. I mean, all right, I can, uh, I can do that. I can do that for us. Let's do that. Like, not for me. Yeah, go ahead. But how are you going to get it to me, motherfucker? Well, that's that's a question I've been asking myself quite a lot. <laughs> yes. Recently, actually, funnily enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Have you become more or less secretive over the years? Oh, far lucrative, <laughs> because there are no secrets, my friends. I mean, if you think there's a single fucking thing in your life that our government and the CIA and the FBI cannot uncover, if they have an interest in you, then uh, move the fuck out of your mother's basement and see the real world, because we have no privacy. At any point, they can shine the spotlight on you, and you are naked in public, in plain view of all of the enforcement and the uh, spy agencies in the fucking country and, and even the world. So we don't have any fucking privacy. I think there's anything we can do to protect ourselves from that. Do what I do. I mean, right now, I mean, for the past year, can I, can I give you just the briefest um, uh, schematic of Janice's and my last 10 months when the IRS uh, convened a grand jury to indict Janice, myself, and four of our associates for unspecified tax fraud? Um, so I found out about it uh, three days in advance, and, and well, I'm not supposed to know it all until they come and arrest me, of course. And we left the country out, uh, on our yacht, went to the Bahamas, because they have no contacts. Uh, two and a half months into the Bahamas, um, we, um, I, I get information that uh, the CIA, in conjunction with Paul Wool, the commissioner of police. Now, the reason I went to the Bahamas, no income tax, can't be extradited. Cool, huh? So they asked the plot where the Bahamian police were going to uh, arrest me on unspecified charges. Didn't matter what the fuck it was, because once I'm in jail in the Bahamas, I'm now a potential criminal and can be extradited by anybody at any time, anywhere. So I heard about this. Uh, they were coming on a Tuesday evening. They had a SWAT team coming to arrest me for God knows what. Um, so we left Tuesday afternoon uh, for Cuba. But before we left, I, I called the newspapers in Nassau, and I, I revealed Paul Roll, the commissioner of police, who was setting all this shit up. up. I revealed his secret bank account, name, account number, and all the deposits and withdrawals in that account for the past two years, which accounted for 20, per, 20 times his annual salary, <laughs> okay? Um, and then we left. Okay, the following day, that story came out. The day after that, the word C, I didn't get the chance to read the response. Headlines in all the Nassau newspapers, uh, Paul Roll sues John McAfee for defamation. 
on the character. In any case, can't go back to the Bahamas now. We go to Cuba. I'm thinking that's safe. We are there for a month and a half, and um, two you know, officers uh, with some branch of the military come and uh, grab Janice and I and say, um, uh, you need to be at this office at 2 o'clock tomorrow. We went. It was a sort of a military base. I went inside. A general came in with an interpreter, sat down and said, you know, we really apologize for this, but uh, the United States has asked that we return you unofficially because there's no official relations between those two countries, uh, to America. We told them we would need a few days to consider it. Uh, I would recommend, Mr. McAfee, that you leave our country within 72 hours. <laughs> so I go, oh, fuck yes. Uh, went back. We've got a big boat, so it takes a couple of days to get it prepped for sea. So we're sweating it working 24 hours a day and twice a day, the military comes by and saying things like, Mr. McVie, are you sure you're going to be gone in 39 hours? And I go, listen, if, if I have to fucking swim to Haiti, I, I'm going to be gone. Anyway, we were gone within 72 hours and we went four and a half days. I didn't know where to go because now I was trapped. I'd escaped from the Bahamas. Uh, barely escaped out of Cuba. Thank God Cuba and America were at that tense point. American Five months ago, look it up, American warships off the coast. Janice and I would see them every fucking morning. Thank God for that. Cuba was not about to bow down to the great imperialistic monster called America. <laughs> but we get to the Dominican Republic, four and a half days at sea. I'm thinking, did I get here in time? Was the CIA here before me? We pull into port. We're instantly surrounded by special forces of the Dominican Republic Army. Refused uh, permission to speak with either immigrations or customs. So they were on our boat illegally. Uh, we haven't checked into your country yet, dude. What are you doing on my boat? The only people who can board my fucking boat is the Coast Guard. Are you Coast Guard? No. What the fuck are you doing? And we're filming all this shit. So uh, we had all of our weapons laid out on the table, the, which we always do when we come into a different country. Uh, Customs does one of three things. They go, uh, okay, well, you got to keep them on the boat. Or, okay, but we're keeping them while you're in the country. We'll give them back when you leave. Or, okay, however it's illegal, we're confiscating them. Welcome to whatever. But we weren't allowed to talk to us. And we were charged with bringing weapons into the Dominican Republic without declaring them to customs. So now I know for a fucking fact, all right, this is definitely an orchestrated affair. Uh, we're in jail for four days. Why? Dominican Republic jails generally soften <coughs> people up very fucking quickly. But I do not soften. I, I harden. <laughs> okay. So at the end of four days, I'm pissed. Janice doesn't soften either. Thank God. She's pissed. My staff is just tired. Um, we go to, they take us to immigration and they say, we're deporting you back to, we're deporting you to America. Mr. McBee, you and Mrs. McBee. I go, I didn't come from America. International law says you got to send me back to Cuba. They said, no, we're sending you to America. And I go, and I pulled out a British passport. I got American and a British. I have two, a oh, dual citizenship. Oh, nice. nice. So I pulled out a British passport. Then I, I want to go to England. The guy said, sorry, you're going to America. Fortunately, by that time, I had lawyers. My lawyers stepped in. We got a, 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 a decree from the court saying, you can't send Mr. McBee anywhere until he has his day in court and can present his evidence. Well, my evidence, we had filmed every fucking thing that they did, including us, me saying, I want to talk to customs. I demand, get off my boat. This is illegal. I'm not in your country. I demand to talk to customs. They go, no, you may not talk to customs. Had that actually gone to court, do you realize what would have fucking unraveled? <laughs> so... It, it didn't, and they sent us to England, like I asked, and that was five months ago. Oh, and really? I, Jan, Janice and I sat down at, uh, when we got to London. I said, baby, are you ready to stop this? Why don't we just go underground for a few months? And she goes, 
I'm game. And we've been underground for five months. I'm still doing videos. I, nothing changes in, in the world of electronics other than me being the real legend that people say I am, at least in terms of fucking security, computer security. Right. I do not want to be found. I promise you, I am not going to be found. So five months we've been underground. Now, it's restricted us. We don't have telephones. You have to throw away all of our phones. You have no phones, no electronic devices outside of this controlled environment here, which is protected by signal jammers, protected by Faraday cages. So no signal can get out from here other than a landline that no one knows about through multiple VPNs, which are not the VPNs you download from Google Play. No, motherfuckers. These are weird right. VPNs. That's the only way people can really protect their privacy then. Yes. So, but see, that's what you got to do in this world is you really want to be private. If you really want to escape, you got to live like me. If you, if you tell the truth, you got to live like me. At least if you tell the truth on a big enough stage that the government pays attention that we have to live like me. Because really, there's only one solution for people like me, and that is silence. Like they silence Julian the song. It's very simple. Have you heard a fucking peep out of him since his arrest? No. And you never will. Through perversion of law, once they've got you in a federal fucking prison, they can even keep you from your fucking lawyer, let alone from any entity that might pass a single word from your lips to the general public. And this is what we're living with. You. This is the truth of yours and my life. Yeah. Now, maybe not yours, but certainly mine. Hmm. Because I do speak what I, I feel, and I always yeah. fucking will. And yeah. thank God for people like yourself that have podcasts. I don't care if two people listen or one or nobody. So I'm talking to you guys. I slowly, step by step, can change this world by simply trying to wake people up. Nothing more complex than that. Waking people to see the truth of your existence now, politically, governmentally, in hmm. the country that you're in, with yeah. the overburdened, corrupt government that has gone from being servant to master, has hmm. gone from we are creating a nation of sovereign individuals yeah. to a nation where your sovereign, where your sovereignty <laughs> is now limited to the point that. If it's your body, should you not have the right to do with your body what you wish? But the government says, no, you're not going to put, you're not going to smoke weed. I promise you that. You're not putting heroin in that body or meth or cocaine. Not even going to be able to put some pharmaceuticals unless our FDA passes them as that you may. Anyway, I'll shut up. I've been talking to them. Well, you, you guys are still rolling, rolling splits, aren't you? Yeah. Do you attribute any of your public charisma to being a Virgo? <laughs> All right. We're switching to astrology, are we? Okay, well. <laughs> do you really want to get into this? Because, I mean, Please. I actually know a bit about I'll astrology. Yeah, okay. Well, let me tell you, astrologically. Who we have I all the time am. in the world. My name is John McAfee. Virgo in sun, or sun in Virgo. Scorpio. Rising sign. Now, Scorpio, as we all know, is the, the bigger definer of personality than sun sign, your rising sign. Uh, moon sign, moon sign, well, the, that's in uh, Aquarius. So I'm a fucked up motherfucker. Moon and Aquarius, I've got that spiritual soul aspect. Virgo, let, let's count shit before we, we say we've won, right? Let's get every goddamn penny in place. And then Scorpio, let's see what shit we can fuck up. And that's me astrologically. Now, 
Um, if you'd give me your birth chart, I can tell you exactly what's going to happen to you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. But you probably don't have. Uh, I have my chart. birth chart. I do have mine. As bear as with me. I'm just grabbing it now. Yeah, yeah. Get bear with me. <laughs> are you yeah. are you motherfuckers really into astrology? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> bear with me. I'm just looking for Fair it now. Enough. I mean, <laughs> listen, I'm hoping you're adults. I mean, if you're an adult, you may do what you wish in my world. As long as you oh, are, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about astrology. When is you chart do? Okay. one second? There's my lighter. There we go. I've got a go. So, so, so we we're okay, content my, my, creators. I had, so I, had, I, had I had eye I had eye surgery <laughs> last year, oh, and my eyes are seriously sensitive to light. However, I'm taking off my sight glasses because I want to actually see this alleged uh, birth chart. Hey, baby. Yeah, it's in my pocket. One second. <laughs> oh, shit, man. It's been five minutes. <laughs> Hold on. I was just... I'm just to... go to alay.net and generate one. <laughs> you don't have birth charts. You guys are fake followers. I generate my birth chart every time I need it. Art, the ancient and respected art of reading. <laughs> <laughs> From the stars, the complexities of human relationship and your own personal place in that. You guys aren't real fucking astrologers. So, Bogey is one. Bogey. There it is. is. Uh, where's the goddamn Wait. chart? There's no chart. Okay. In your pocket, folded up. How long does it take you to unfold? <laughs> and I've it's lost a, everybody's image now. It's, it's, on, it's, on, my, um, <laughs> it's, on, it's on my other camera. Yeah, you gotta talk. You gotta talk uh, on that. And it's whoa, 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 whoa! It's folded up on your other camera. No, no, no! You, you can see it. You can like. Can you see it? <laughs> I can't see Jack shit. I see your left shoulder, <laughs> and that's a nice shirt, by the way. That no, blue check—that's a good pattern. What about there? Now you've disappeared. I've got a nice cloud scene with no context. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I see two faces now of seriously stoned and worthless people in okay, terms oh, yeah, of okay. any conversational uh, any conversational case. Oh, what, what, All right. What, Can you fucking read it to me? Why don't you try the zenith? That's the top, okay? If you look at the chart, it looks round and there's two lines at the very top <laughs> of the zenith. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> In, okay, so you. Fuck you guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. In the ninth and tenth houses, what planets of or what uh, points of. Do um, you have a trine or uh, a square or something anywhere in those I, two houses? Uh, wow. So I mean, you um, guys know jack shit about the swamp. What, could I could Why I send a picture in the chat? Not, I, I can send a file. It. I could, oh, I mean mind, I don't know. Mind. Okay, okay, it's there. But <laughs> okay, give me all right. Okay, tell me where you were born and the time. Okay, all right. Yep. Whoa. Um, yeah, and, and then and you go the, to and the, day. <laughs> and the day. Just tell me that. Okay, cool. <laughs> I can do that. Uh, it was it was a Tuesday. Right yeah, Tuesday, mm -hmm. August the 7th. I don't 7th. need the Tuesday, I need the time. <laughs> August 7th, what year? <laughs> uh, it was a Midsummer's Eve. In the... <laughs> it, it was, was a 4 p.m. 4 p.m. 4 p.m., what location? That's what matters. In Ealing, this is being Ealing, streamed, man. You guys. Ealing, in where? Ealing, <laughs> Ealing, England, United Kingdom. I need a fucking time and minute. How oh, can you have four, a goddamn 4 chart 4, 4 without the... E okay, and where? What part of the world? Ealing, United Kingdom. Ealing. Oh, United yes. Kingdom. Good. Yes. You guys are all in one fucking zone. All right. Okay. Hang on. Go to alhe.com and then type in that information. Hush. I'm trying to fucking work. All right. <laughs> it's running a nice old Unix tool. Generates a, a lovely little. Whoa, thing. dude! <laughs> if, if if I were you, I would at this very moment, I would at this very fucking moment, take off the goddamn earphones, walk out the door, and do everything you ever wanted to do in your life for the next forty-seven hours and twelve minutes. 
<laughs> no, no, no. It's a it, it's a, it's a natal chart generator. It's like an old it's like uh, L-A-B-E dot com. <laughs> because oh, dude, that's funny. all you got. There's 47 hours and that's it. That's the remainder that's of you. I'm sorry, dude. That's what astrology see. You shouldn't get into something <laughs> that's what it like astrology <laughs> if you're not prepared for the the well, you open Pandora's boxes. <laughs> and it, it never goes back inside. Mm. So it, enjoy yourself. I mean, listen, life is short for all of us. We all got to go sometime. I'm joking here, people, just so if anybody out there listening to this is so <laughs> disconnected from reality that you think anything that has come out of my mouth during this interview is serious <laughs> or factual, then please go back to sleep immediately. So you ever grown weed on a uh, weed on a boat? I'm sorry. Have you ever grown weed on a boat? Grown weed on a boat? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anybody who's ever grown weed? I mean, now that you asked the fucking question, I mean, right? Yeah. right. No. And I know, I know, I know a lot of people. But never have I ever seen <laughs> <laughs> I know a guy that grew I some mean, weed yeah. <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> well, all right then. I mean, you've made me want to try it. <laughs> Let's buy another boat, baby. We're going to go into the weed business. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Why am I watching someone roll a spliff when I, I can't smoke uh, in this fucking room? I mean, do you realize how impolite that is? I mean, I'm just, what if you were at dinner? I'm okay. sorry. What if you were at dinner in a nice goddamn restaurant and everybody I, has food? I've got, food. I've got extreme glaucoma and I have to constantly smoke. smoke. Okay, hang on. What's your favorite screen? <laughs> It's I'm gonna have to make you. I'm gonna have to make you motherfuckers <laughs> jealous. All right? Can anybody oh. see this shit? <laughs> wow! Oh, yeah. It's like a. This is dank. Damn. This is dank, dank mint. My own variety. Took me years of trial and error to come up with <laughs> the perfect weed that, on the first hit, you feel like. You have been kissed by God. And then on the second hit, you're wishing God was a woman. And by the third hit, all of those things fade away. What's the story and you become one. With. Sounds like some DMT going on there. Well, you don't need DMT. You just need to smoke this entire bud in one sitting, and I think you'll be fine. <laughs> What's it called? Like you got a, dank you got a name for it? It's called Dank, dank Minge. D-A-N-K-M-I-N-G-E. Dank. Like oh, Dank Minge. Min. Okay. Dank Minge, I like that. Uh, is, it, is it available? In the deep it. Here's our story. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Y'all hear me? We grew, we grew a batch. Who's that? What's he doing That's, here? That's that's our boy Lorenzo. He's a. <laughs> why why okay. is he outside? Anyway, how are you doing, yeah, brother? Now, so what the fuck was I saying? Dank Minge, what Dank Minge, Dank Minge. Oh yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. So we our plan was to make a business out of this shit. All right. So we grew a first batch. Uh, and in the past 41 days, we smoked it all. Um, I mean, <laughs> the entire staff, you know, all, all 73, all 73 of us have smoked through what was potentially a hundred thousand dollars worth of weed. And so, um, we're now, we're now back to waiting <laughs> for our second batch. And this, this tiny little motherfucking bag. Oh, that's, that's just a little bit. That's left. That's all that's left out of the first batch. <laughs> Dank Minge. So, 
Those of you who've been waiting, because we've been advertising and going, yeah, we got it finally. Sorry, we just fucking smoked it all. And we're going to try to make a larger bet. But I, I, don't, I don't know when that will be, and I can promise you nothing. My apologies. But there are 73, 74 people now uh, who have been extraordinarily happy for about 40 some days. Thank you for your tolerance and waiting, those of you out there who had placed pre orders. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, yeah, that has some potential, definitely. I see it up the ranks with the legendary Lamb's Breath, something to tell my grandchildren about that um, I got some of the original strain of that, hopefully. I hope it really makes it to Europe. That would be awesome. So yeah, if you leave well, some local distributors, I mean, I would probably have an idea who would be very fitting for the job. Then. <laughs> I know. Well, here, here's the pro problem with it. <laughs> I, I've got maybe just a tad too much indica in it. Because really, when you start smoking it, you go, well, why should we be doing anything else? Right? I mean, why? Should be going to work. I should be be answering email. Why the fuck should we be doing anything at all other than smoking this shit? Which is what happened. All right. I mean, Seventy three reasonably professional business people turned into fucking stoners in less than forty days. I mean, that's, that's the time that both of them got that's quite the desert. So. Wow. So if you smoke you like it. I smoke, then you're high like every day. I'm sorry? If, you're, if you smoke like I smoke, then you're high like every day. Uh, this is a, <laughs> is a two day a two day a two day supply <laughs> for three people. Two days, three people. Um, it goes fast. That's good. No, That's clean. Clean. In it other clean. way, if it were any other weed in the world, this Indeed. would last me for fuck two goddamn weeks by myself, right? So, I mean, with three hours. No, no, no. This, this is. I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, <laughs> we we need a bigger boat. No, I, I need to adjust <laughs> the ratio. Um, like I said, it's got too much indica. Um, it seemed at the time a great fucking idea. Well, how about we just it's put enough. The is there any plans to bring it to the recreational markets in the United States? There's no recreational aspect of drugs, dude. I mean, what, what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, drugs have a purpose. I mean, you either take them to gain, like, psychedelics, you take them in order to gain some sort of insight into yourself. These hellishly introspective hours on LSD, for example, or you're taking a drug to enhance. Uh, the the erotic nature of sex, okay, and so then you move into the cannabis like MDPV. Problem with that shit, if any of you have ever tried MDPV, which is very simply, it's nothing more than methylene dioxypyrovalerone. Um, it is, it is what people thought Spanish fly might have been. It is the sex drug that turns everything man, woman, child, dog, pig, into nothing more than one horny motherfucking entity. And you might go for four days fucking on MDP <laughs> no. until, every, until everybody's bleeding from every genital uh, area or, or any, anything that you might consider to be erotic. Um, that's MDPV. So you want to enjoy sex? Get MDPV. Massively, massively outlawed ever since. So here's the problem with MDPV. You remember the the, the dude that ate somebody's face yes. uh, in Florida a few years back? Well, he was on MDPV. MDPV is one of these strange drugs that if you take, well, let's see, what is it per milligram? If you take more than one milligram 
for every 30 pounds of your weight, then you're going to want to eat somebody's face. I mean, this is what happens. I mean, it goes oh, over the line. Where's the face? Let me eat something. If you take <laughs> less than that amount by a tiny fraction of a milligram, nothing happens. So you've got to get this dosage so we find. And in order to do so, you've got to have a $3,000 scale. So no wonder people are eating people's faces. Nothing wrong with the drug. Yeah. So what, what would scale. be the next what would be the next level? Okay, the next level. So if you if you were to want to eat somebody's face and you just do a little more, that would be interesting. What's going to happen in that case? You know, I don't yeah, know. I I have, I have a question for yes, one question. Um, I noticed like in some videos, YouTube videos, like when you're being interviewed, like you have somewhat like a like a like a, a glitch. Like it seems like you might have a like some Parkinson's disease a little bit, or or maybe it could be drugs. Or something it could that. be. It's entirely entirely possible. I I don't I don't believe in doctors, so I would have no way to diagnose that. Um, yeah, I, I, I just seven, figured it's either the drugs or like Parkinson's. Well, it could be. You know, listen, dudes, I'm seventy four fucking years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the fact that all I right, just that, yeah, that's all. Awesome. It's a miracle. I just had that question. That was all. I'm sorry. So that's all. I was just curious. Yeah, so while we're on the su- you mentioned it. <laughs> while we're on the subject of drugs, I was kind of curious if you ever uh, refined your weed. Do you ever like make shatter or any kind of oils, or do you? Uh, are you? Do just I make oil? what? It shatter or concentrates? Oil? Concentrates. Yeah. Yeah. See. Okay. So. So. Yeah. That's a very question. When you add that to the word. Drugs. Tell me, you guys are just yeah, but... and you probably have had very limited experience with psychedelics, yeah. uh, with upper downers, uh, um, with uh, disassociatives. I've had a I'm sorry. We all love our psychedelics here. Yeah. I mean, oh, you do? <laughs> like them? Okay. Yeah. Well, then, yeah. Then I, 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 I speak. I years. speak fondly of Burning Man. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right. Well, in that case, we're you and I. Have, can communicate. Oh yes, yes. Shared Absolutely. And so now, um, weed. Weed, I think, very bottom of mind-altering substances. I mean, it's fun. No question about it. Mellow. Um, it makes you dig a little deeper into your psyche. But it's not a drug. Neither is neither is meth, methamphetamine. Neither is cocaine. That I abandoned that shit years ago when I discovered Chinese research chemicals. The ones, you remember, China was one started, we need a way to control the masses chemically. But they have, they discovered the gun. They discovered the cathinones, the most powerful stimulant ever. In, I mean, listen, I've, I've taken more meth than any of you motherfuckers can carry, but it's nothing compared to things like alpha PHP, alpha PDP, or even MDPV, methylene dioxide. So no, people, you don't know what drugs are. You could try the research chemical. Things like psychedelics, I mean you think LSD is a drip? But no. But there are research chemicals that will make LSD look like Well like two C V and two C I, two C E the two CI is nice. Have you, who has had two CI? I have. You have? Yes. Hey, and that's sweet. <laughs> I mean, there's very little bad you can say about that shit. No, but see, I got to combine things. If I want to take two CI, oh, uh, I want, I'm, I want I'm exactly the same. I want, <laughs> I want alpha PHP with it. Why? Oh. Um, number one, I mean, it, it, it keeps my paranoia function going uh, enough so that the two CI thing that all is well. Does not overwhelm me, uh, and I can survive the experience, even if someone shoots, which has happened. Um, no, it's awesome, but yeah, no, the Chinese. So you guys, fuck me. You know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, no, no, I, no, no, no. I got a question. I want to say one fucking word, and I want to know if any of you are going to know what I'm saying. Okay. Blue light. Ah, oh, fuck you guys. 
All right. What? I thought what? I was in in blue light. What's blue light? What's blue light? And you're not talking Kmart. That is that Google? Somebody type in bluelight.org and find out. I will. God damn it! You guys are faking it. No, I'm still. You you read somewhere? You're probably on Reddit and found out about two CI. No, no, gosh no. Are you talking? Are you talking about? Are you talking about harm reduction, John? Who? Harm reduction. Uh, what, what that is, but uh, it sounds fine. I'll try. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> like um, harm reduction in regards to anything considered a drug, such as body or, body or mind altering substances. Although it is, well, that's everything. That's everything. I mean, that's that's alcohol. That's coffee. That's tea. That, that's yogurt. What fucks eat enough of it? Whoa! What? what the hell is what is a fucking drug? I don't know what it is. Blue light, Everything you're talking you about blue light, the online bike. forum? Uh, yes, what the still... fuck else would I be talking about? So I've managed to like get my kundalini uh, up to my stomach. You've been, I'm sorry, you managed to do what? I, I've managed to get my kundalini like all the way up to my stomach, but I just keep getting hungry. Like, what do I do? Well, I mean, you only got your kundalini halfway to but here's my advice. I, this this thing about we need to raise the kundalini energy, fuck that shit. I spent my life trying to lower it. I want my kundalini energy down in my fucking nuts. Well, in that little freedom between the anus and your whatever's left is, is where the <laughs> whatever's <kundalini> left. <laughs> no. no. Why would you want to go to the fucking end of the process? No, I just go straight to the end of kundalini. Fuck no. Get your ass back to the beginning and then enjoy the fucking trip. All right. And when you get close to the end, go back to the fucking beginning. No, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm you know, I'm allergic to Kundalini. Uh, that's my issue. And I'm sorry I'm very cynical about it, but I developed a Kundalini allergy uh, when I was 31. That's before, before I turned white. People don't know this. I have a skin condition. Um, I've got photos. I'll, hey, Janice, can you get those photos of me as a kid? I was as black as Janice. Um, but I've had a skin condition. You know, which is, so when What's they, originally when they chose Johnny Depp for the King of the Jungle movie to play me, I wrote a fiery letter saying, listen, just because I have a skin condition does not mean you have the right to choose a white actor to play me. <laughs> no, I'm, all this is a joke, please God. That was laughing. Uh, maybe it's not funny. But, um, okay, um, so between a lion and a cheetah, which one would you fight and how would you do it? I don't like fighting. But if I had to fuck one, I would choose the lion because female lions, look at them from the rear. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, they're kind of cute, right? I mean, I'm a butt man, as it is, and so fuck, it's the tail, it's that little swish, that furry blob on the end. I don't know, it's always been erotic to me. But fight? What? Well, I don't want to fight when I can fuck. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's amen. So you like, so you like a little bit of fur? A little what? A little bit of fur on the end. Well, well, you know, it depends. I mean, for, okay, so female lions. I mean, for those, uh, there's got to be somebody else that's turned on by female lions other than me, okay? It depends on the age. Do you notice how the young female lions don't have as much fur? It's kind of like a tiny little paintbrush, right? That's what attracts me. The ones with the paintbrush, the ones that are less than three years old. They're lions, people. <laughs> Don't get me for rape here for child rape. That's a fucking lion right now. So, and lion years, got, that's, got a, that's they plenty of lion years. They got a little paintbrush on the tail, right? And when it swishes, especially especially when they're after game, because it's a female, it's a bunch, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I, I don't think I've ever thought of a, of a lioness. Me. I'm sorry, my boss, my boss just told me to. 
calm the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> have, I got, have I gone over the line here? I don't think so. Well, I don't hey, think so. Hey, Jan? <laughs> <laughs> ass in here and oh no I can't okay no okay so here's something about women that's oh that's a real treat for everybody everybody no no she's not coming here's why she's getting her hair done tomorrow she just got out of the shower and she had I just washed head. my hair so now yeah she just washed her hair but please but here, please stop fucking here, talk, talk into this please stop talking about fucking lines like how did we get on this how are we supposed to be talking about crypto you guys are talking about fucking lines well, What's going um, on? Okay. Oh, well, thank uh, you in, in, janice i appreciate the segue right now. I, I appreciate okay. the segue yes we uh, need to talk about some crypto uh, let's reality. talk about crypto <laughs> That's yeah. let's, let's get it back to crypto okay well he didn't okay, he so wouldn't so he didn't want to fight he didn't want to fight a lion, but he said he would fuck a this lion. Is, this and is what happened when he goes unsupervised for too long. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. So, John, um, how do you anyway, uninstall... no, I answered the question. I would choose yes. the lion. Yes. And yes. anybody, okay. anybody yes. who would choose a cheetah has never watched cheetahs having sex. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Cryptocurrency. Talk to right. me. I mean, yes. Uh, when is uh? When is your decks due out? Yes. Yeah. I want to make uh, Yes. Okay, we got to change our tone now to something serious because <laughs> very. Serious. All right. All right. Let me uh, let me right. change hats again. If we're talking finance now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, so good. So good. Love the hat. Thank you. Perfect. Shalom. L'chaim. L'chaim. Oh. Oh. What do we got here? Oh. Oh, sh all right. Okay. Well, I, I got a little bit of an inferiority. Is a, okay. Is that, a Lucha, is that a Lucha Libre mask? No, that's a gas mask. Yeah. Oh, it's a gas mask. Okay. Oh, it's really fancy. Can you, like can you really hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. <laughs> can you hear me? Of course, yeah. yes. Okay, so now, yes. now that we're putting on hats and accoutrement, um, <laughs> what was the fucking question again? Oh, cryptocurrency. cryptocurrency. Yes, okay. cryptocurrency. There. Because I have to be serious with this. <laughs> yes. All right. Now. Inquiring minds want to know when is your dex due out? You got a you got a dex coming it's out. Already, it's already out. The beta the beta is already out. The beta's been out for a month. The okay. production release won't come out until um, April the first of next year. So it's on test but now. Already on, uh, on our on our beta release, we already have uh, Ethereum and Tron. We'll be adding EOS, Neo, and uh, Binance before the end of the year. Nice. And by the second quarter, we'll have cross-chain transactions. So basically, you can exchange any coin in the world for any other coin. Um, you don't have to pay us anything for listing. Go on a list of coin, press a button, put the tech specs you listen. And I'm like paying 75000 to Binance. We keep no information. We don't know your name. We don't ask for your address. We don't ask for social security number. No email. Nothing. Nothing. You just go to the website and start trading. Um, now, uh, this is in violation of every SEC requirement. There's no KYC. There's no uh, anti-money laundering. Nothing. Well, and that's the fun of it. I chose. I chose to create the, the system and smart contracts on the blockchains so that it doesn't make a fucking part to me whether I'm collected or not by the SEC or the FBI or everybody who wants me, because the, the decks can't ever be shut down. Smart contracts on the blockchain, they're forever. So yeah. if they do catch me, and praise God, I hope they will soon, if they do catch me, my only answer is, oh God, I'm sorry, I didn't know you wanted that information. So why didn't you tell me? Can I change it? No, I'm sorry. It's already there. <laughs> so um, this is uh, we ch we charge no maker fees and only a quarter of one percent taker fees, and that's not even going to fund our development. 
uh, this is my gift to the world. It's not much of a gift right now. You've got Ethereum and Tron, and you can only you can only trade within those two trains. Change, but people are doing it, uh, which is sufficient. Uh, but by the the second second quarter next year, we will have a real exchange. Now let, let's get back to something far 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 more important than my fuck yeah. trivial little exchange, and that is cryptocurrency itself. Do you realize, people, that in the past 100 years, every world-changing technology has come from the bowels of a secret government program or from the major players in tech and industry like Google, and Apple, and Microsoft. And nothing has been developed by the people with the exception of the blockchain and cryptocurrency. That How was you developed say that definitively. By what do you think of fast? Who they were. We know who they were. Everybody knows who they were. Nobody. People say they don't know who Satoshi is. Who cares? He was one of those nine people who developed it over a period of four years. Who cares who wrote the paper? They probably drew fucking straws. And I know, I know who wrote the, the paper. It was not. Wait, it oh, was oh. CIA? Are you crazy? The which CIA in 1996 one... wrote papers about blockchains already. Wasn't it the Well, I haven't, then I haven't seen that document, but I knew no, all the players. Greg Wright was even there. He's not Satoshi. He's not the one who wrote the white paper, but he played a big part. So did a bunch of people. Dr. Adam Back. Adam Back played a major role. So we know who the people are. Good God, we have, we have a record of how it all happened. It's not the CIA. It's a yeah. bunch of people who were just geeks and developers. We can name them if you want. You can go Google them. But um, don't you think so that these be- people were not? Pardon? I don't you think that because it's so open and so um, unmutable and traceable that it furthers the CIA agenda to track everything because Bitcoin's fully trackable. We can track the wallet. Of course it is. I'm not guys. saying use Bitcoin. Have you ever heard me say <laughs> use Bitcoin? No, I said Bitcoin's going to increase in value. If you want to use a coin, use Monero, SafeX, Apollo, Zcash. Use a privacy fucking coin. You can't possibly trace a, a, a Monero I mean, they've been trying for years. It's impossible. Uh, use a, the, shed. the reason I, I built the decentralized exchange is because if we don't have these things today, we would be shut down. Like China, two years ago, shut down every exchange in China overnight. Mm-hmm. Why? They all had addresses. They had employees. They had servers. They had a structure. We have, we have to have what I built, decentralized exchanges, and we have to have privacy coins because if we use these coins instead of investing them, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Listen to me, not you guys, you guys seem pretty straight, but the ones listening, if in fact there is anybody, and I have no proof that you guys aren't just a bunch of stoners playing a joke, and that's okay. Nevertheless, um, listen to me. I'm listening. You're smiling. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. It's not that it fucking matters. Right. <laughs> so we have to have <laughs> privacy coins and decentralized exchanges, or else we're going to be shut down. If we do have privacy coins and decentralized exchanges, the world will change because we will no longer be dependent upon a currency controlled by an overlord who can increase the supply, therefore diminishing all of your savings overnight, or can monitor your use. You want to, you want to wire money somewhere? There's a record of that with your fucking name on and your signature. Please God, please people. So this allows us to free ourselves from the ultimate control, and the ultimate control is financial control. Those who control the currency own you. You can't you can't buy a house. You can't pay rent. You can't get a car. You can't send your kids to school. You can't get medical care without the currency that is created by the government until now. And now we can. And what we've been given, people, is 
the golden key to our cage of slavery. We can use it to preach ourselves. What are we doing? <laughs> we use it to scratch our fucking backs by saying cryptocurrency. There's a way to make a fortune, get rich quick, increase my bullshit. Stop scratching your back, open your goddamn cage, people, and let's free ourselves. And people, I have put, I have time for. Whoops, I'm, whoa, we're over time. Uh, minus two more questions. <laughs> All right, may, may I get one in then? Um, what yeah, do you sure. think <laughs> about um, the, the current potential of governments absolutely being able to shut down the progress of cryptocurrency? Like uh, the, the example that you mentioned with China, and just, just thinking if banks would be forced by the governments to disallow purchase of cryptocurrency. Um, I fear that a lot of people will be left behind. I mean, if you already have money in cryptocurrency, you're probably going to be fine. But is there really a way to circumvent that uh, access to cryptocurrency on a large scale will be blocked by governments and banks? You, and can't, you can't. There's no way to access cryptocurrency if you use a privacy coin and a distributed exchange. Because there's no yeah, record true. on a distributed exchange and the coin transaction is private. Nothing, nothing that can link you to anything. And even the transaction itself cannot be fucking unwound. So we have the facility. The problem is, instead of using these fucking coins for what they were intended for, which is buying, selling goods and services, we're using them to hold, hoping they will increase in value and will trade them for something else. People, you've been given the golden key to unlock your cage, and you're using it to scratch your fucking back. So I've said that the second time now. And thank you so much for having me on. No problem. Um, thank you. I, I, you so looks cool. like it's pretty good. So. <laughs> Thanks so much, John. Um, thank you. Thank oh, you one, yeah. one more quick question. Could yeah. we do this again sometime? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Excellent. Fuck no. This what? is a wonderful uh, lifetime opportunity. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fair play. Contact, Quick question. Contact, question. contact, contact, Dana. Yes. Yes. Quick question. question? Uh, what is your opinion of fast food? Of fast food? What is your What is your opinion of fast food? <laughs> what the fuck? Great <laughs> question. My no. opinion is, listen. No. Okay, let me let me hand it to you straight here. Well, let's look at it from just a flavor standpoint. I mean, McDonald's spends fifty million dollars a year in flavor fucking research, and all you got to do is get a McDonald's straight from the counter, not wait for it and take it home where it's cooled three degrees. But no, straight from the fucking counter. That's Sit right. Have you, Have you tried Indies? That fucker. Which one? Have you tried Indies? Indies. No, no, I don't know where that is even. Never even heard of it. Listen, I don't get out much, guys. Um, but yeah, flavor wise, it's good shit because the body goes, that tastes good. But no, I mean, there's no nutritional value to it, to my knowledge. I mean, I don't know uh, anybody that survived on fast food. Um, I never heard of it. How do you spell it? F I N D Y Z, like Cindy's. Sounds like Wendy's, which I think is far preferable. Yeah, right? like it's open. For yeah, it's open 24 hours. And if you get there, to find some fascinating characters, but I don't know anything about that restaurant. Are you making that shit up, or did you just start yeah, I made it up. This thing, it's one of those Findies nuts. Oh hey, baby, have you ever heard of oh Findies restaurant? Have you ever heard of Findies <laughs> restaurant? No, listen. If Janice has, oh my her, god. <laughs> Well, well, thank Hello. you very much for thank the you so much. Thank, yeah, yeah, thank you very much You're for welcome. joining us. Um, John, I dropped you a link in the chat. Um, there's a, a track I made with a quote from you in it. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, do you guys actually have any viewers, or not that I mind? I'm just curious. We've got uh, some, uh, some people in with our community is pretty large, so we don't really yeah. more, more yeah. than more than two people, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Def def <laughs> definitely, plenty. definitely more than one. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we're oh, more yeah. than one. Well, well, that's fine then. All right, that, then everything's cool. All right, yeah. Contact Janice <laughs> uh, and schedule again. 
Yes, of um, course. Listen, what I would do, because here's what she does. I'm only frank with you because she's sitting next to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, some days, I mean, Janice is a lovely woman, a lovely fucking woman. But some days, I don't know what it is, uh, the side of the bed she gets up on, the temperature of the coffee, the stove, oh, she's put it just some um, Certain variables, you know, yes, the certain variables. On yes. some days, she's not exactly um, an angel. And so if you go, can I, can I, can I have another conversation with John? She's in her mind go, what? You already talked to him once. Um, you know, call us in 2023. Um, but we, but we'd love said, to talk to her as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Perfect. We, she would we, like that, but not tonight because she just watched it here. And says, no, that's it, absolutely it, fine. However, <laughs> so, baby. So now, so now uh, here's my advice. Change your names. Get a brand new email address. Okay. Um, and then email as a new account going, Hi, we heard Mr. McAfee is doing interviews and podcasts. But otherwise, <laughs> you guys are going to back in line until, gotcha. you know, until I'm 84. All right. So that's my advice. All right. You got it. And, um, okay. Talk to you guys later. Take care, man. Right, man. Have a good night. Have a pleasure, John. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks very much. This has been excellent. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you boy. You oh, boy. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Hey, you ain't at Cindy's. Hello. How did Cindy's?